Run them jewels fast, run them, run them jewels fast, run them, 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 fuck the slow mo. Run them, 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 Yeah. It's Taylor on the cut, lifting six on your stitching crew. I'm miles ahead of you, you can sit my bitches through. My battle status is burning matches from Dallas to Malibu. Check my resume, your residence is residue. Color is skin job, and my honey dick will back flip for you. You playing God, your eyes socket, she gon' rip it too. We sick of bleeding out a tray, spraying victim you. Dunk dying, fill up AK dicking you. With clips in the bottom, we dipping from Gotham. Yes, eclipsed by the shadows of dark dance to the car. I'm a fellow with melanin, suspect of a felony Rip like rock in my law, feds is checking my melody Less aggressively tested with bump stretches and penalties um, Cases we're facing the cop, please when we season the pump We're freezing the dump on you global grand dragons Still piling fast bucks, Afghani toe tagging Now they tracking me, yeah we busting back See the only thing that close quicker than our caskets be the factory Run them tools fast, run them, run them tools fast Run them, 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 run them. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God damn it, you damn overlay. Why don't you just work the way you're supposed to do? There we go. All better. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to I Can't Shut Up Unless You Tell Me To. Here on iMedia TV, we are existing. We continue to exist. Non-consensually. That's okay. I have some stories for you today. My back is still in pain, and I crave the sweet embrace of death. But not as much as all the people, not as much as all the bosses fighting tooth and nail to get people.
Click on Detroit. New incentives could boost satisfaction with in-person work, but few employers are making changes. I want to be clear, while this is technically a Detroit-based outlet, the, the, a lot of the notes macroly in this article are relevant nationwide. Justin Ryan Horton had two jobs. When he's not working 24-hour shifts as a fire to fire, he, the 22-year-old is working as an administrative assistant for a local community college from his home in Colorado Springs. Firefighting, of course, not a work-from-home kind of job. So when the community college position gave Horton the choice to clock in remotely, he took it. I'm gone a lot being a firefighter instead of coming home and then seeing my family for a few minutes. We're leaving to go to my other job. I feel like I just have more time with them when I work from home. The nineteen, the COVID nineteen pandemic upended what working looks like for millions of people, all of the peoples all around the world. And while many a job can be done in person, swaths of employers are shuttered their physical doors and move their workplaces increasingly online. Workers have since begun to return to the offices in waves, for at least. Part of the week, navigating the transition is an ongoing and significant hurdle for employers and workers alike, and many simply cannot fathom a return to the pre-COVID status quo. Despite all of the geriat despite all the fucking octogenarians in charge of business in this country trying to trying to do the other the opposite. Changing how companies approach their staffing needs, retaining employees who don't want to work in person is an issue for companies, but relatively few employers, 13%, have introduced new incentives that would make employees more satisfied with it. About three in four human resources representatives say that retaining employees who don't want to work in the office is a problem, including 9% who call it a major problem. Another 54 of our HR representatives call it a minor problem. They're, they're, they're downplaying it. And only about one third of HR professionals say employees at their workplace are extremely or very happy returning to the workplace. Once workers discover that remote work could be less expensive and make their life a little easier, they just wanted to keep doing it. Even once the pandemic began fading away, it's not over. By the way, people are still dying of COVID. People, it, but it's that's neither here nor there. Uh, Marjorie Connolly, senior fellow with NOARC's Public Affairs Media Research Department, told the Associated Press in both a HR survey and a separate poll of U.S. adults, researchers found that the top factors behind an employee's desire to work from home included prioritization of their flexibility and work-life balance. Other HR representatives and employees who work from home cite the length of cost of commuting as key. Yeah, yeah, like, the f the thing is, is that when you work an eight-hour day at an office, your day is not just eight hours. You have a commute tacked on to the beginning and end of that day, and then you also have however long it takes for you to get out the door in the morning. Now, I personally like a like to ha take an hour just so I can have my body wake up, take a shower, eat something, you know, and mentally psych myself to get to leave the house. Other people just literally roll out of bed, hop in the shower, throw some clothes on, walk out the door. Everybody's different, but the fact of the matter is, is that your eight-hour shift isn't just eight hours. That's when you work from home, you turn your computer off, you have, on average, an hour or two, depending on who you are, given back to yourself. That's huge. That's worth it. You know... At the end, of, Bill. But then, yet yeah, Bill as uh, Castellino, a professor at the Reuter, uh, Rutgers School of Management and Labor Relations, knows that flexibility is key, particularly giving employees agency for scheduling their work. Employees really value more of when they when to do work versus where to do work. Castellino, who is not involved in the Newark services, as he added that this is a key benefit for many remote workers today and could be duplicated in physical offices with the right policy, such as having flexible start times. I got to be honest. I'd be all for that. I'd love to, like, do half days and stuff in the office. Like, come to the office in the morning, at lunch, head home, work from home the rest of the day. That'd be great. But unfortunately, like, people want to pretend like COVID didn't happen. And it, it did. And, 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 like, trauma and issues of, like, people aside, like, you can't just ignore the fact that um, all of this is existing the way it is. It's sad. and. You know, it's counterproductive. So regardless, if you wanted to if you want to read this story, uh, if you want to read the story in its entirety without my without my without my commentary, uh, you can you can it's, it can be found uh, in the high media discord general forum. Um, and if you want to listen to this, uh, you know, watch, watch it. This is available on YouTube. And after the fact, it will be available. Uh, the entire show will be available in podcast form at the end of the day. So, yeah. You, ladies and gentlemen, 
are watching I Can't Shut Up Unless You Tell Me To here live on High Media TV. Running up numbers, money man mogul Without chit chat, we ain't vocal We shit packs out doing up postal Shake hands with the locals, network and we don't mean social Step out in Italian sway, they tell a man pray, go my telly up toe Now once upon a time, I had dents in the right eye Had silks in the bank, then I broke down bricks to serve up in the night time Now I'm Mr. Worldwide, wanna pull up past side girls Wanna jump into the car and ride I must apologise, I don't really have time to chat and fret And I was gonna fret in mind Coming in, just touch down in Dublin, get cash back Double it, bubbling, car in a pot, then shovel it, smuggling, pay for the jewels I'm covered in, going in, grabbing him, let's be having him. I just fucked a man's lights out, allergen. Then I boxed him up nice and packaged him, shipped a man next day like Amazon. I just stepped out in 30, and I'm feeling 30. Add tobacco so dirty, these must when I'm feeling thirsty. Keep the dumb board on top. But the back's all nice and curly Lord knows I tried to quit smoking But the 20 decks one pound 30 And the 20 decks one pound 40 Wife in Gibraltar brought that back for me Tell her I'm out in Dubai Smoking doobies be back surely Yeah, and the blood just caught me Slap on the wrist mate, naughty, naughty Yeah, so I slapped him a 15 Federale changed his mind quite quickly my man changed his tune, banging on the drum, make click, click, boom. Lay the quick track with me, I'll make fumes, and then kick back with a pint of spoons. Feet up with me, old mill boots, to sip another pint, it's time to get loose. See that boy said he owes me money, tell me when his head make up, does go. I feel a little burn when I back that goose. I'm having them up large on a coastal cruise. It's a couple of rap stars in a three piece suit. You never would have believed that's what we do. I look at the red dot when I ride and shoot. I come and collect what when I'm sliding through. I fill up a red cup like I'm out in you. That's how you out here, like riding a coat. I'm out here. You want some? Come and get it when I'm running on my lonesome. Sawn off now, I'm running with a long one. Dot dot left him lay there in his long johns. Ping pong gets slapped with a backhand. Baseball bet with a barbed wire rat ran. Back in the net when I shoot that shot. Get laid at WWE Smackdown. Yeah, that's the way go. One grind to the boys in Tobago. Keep one eye open for the plane clothes. I need more leg room for the plane up. A shit to the boys in Lagos. Stowed it down when a man need favors. Transatlantic for me flavors. Might chuck the chips down in Vegas. Bonjour to the birds in France. Full of vodka, shy avec moi. One love when I'm in Jamaica I bust Magnum when I wind and dance German whip with a German stick And a German chick while I'm out in Maine Placing me out down the beach ass With the chick ass out in Spain Hold on, real quick. Let's run all that back and ignore that, um, you know, that, uh, what was it called? That a minute where I was just broadcasting dead air because I'm a dumbass. My apologies for all that. Um, all right. So we all know that the Supreme Court is hella mid. They are mid. They are the, the, the uh. Now, now, we all know that the Supreme Court is, in fact, mid. Ma, 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 mid. But, that being said, they recently did something 
no, not bad. Like I, it wasn't as definitive as I'd like, but at least they, they, you know. Here, hold on. Let me show that. <laughs> Supreme Court delivers blow to vaccine skeptics. Good. The Supreme U.S. Supreme Court rejected to hear an appeal relating to COVID nineteen. Uh. Uh, vaccination requirements in the workplace dealing a blow to vaccine skeptics across the nation. Good! There are just certain fucking professions where you need to be vaccinated. Not just against COVID, but everything. Like, you need, like, teachers, nurses, like, like the, the, if you are serving the public in a significant way in that in that service, doesn't isn't the type of job that comes with, like, an inherent extra power, like, a, like, like, you know, a police officer. Like, police officers don't count here because they get, they are a, considered a they both are considered legally and act like they are a class above. So, te like, and teachers and nurses do not get paid enough. Don't get me started on teacher pay. I am the children of teachers. Believe me, I can go about it for hours. But back to the story. On Tuesday morning, the Supreme Court orders list showed that it was denied to hear any further arguments in the case. Kate Chesey versus, Gov Mur versus Murphy. Governor of, Governor of New Jersey, the case focused on four New Jersey nurses who filed a lawsuit against the New Jersey's COVID-19 vaccine requirements in the workplace, citing religious freedom and health concerns. The Supreme Court did not provide any further explanation for its refusal to hear the case, but the decision allows a ruling in the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit to stand. The lower court ruled that the vaccine mandate challenged by the nurses did not violate their constitutional freedoms and allowed an executive order from New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy to stay in place. Uh, new in response, uh, new uh, the lawyers for uh, the state of New Jersey and Murphy. We are disappointed that the Supreme Court did not take this up now, but we hope it will take up the question soon. Whether it is after the final judgment of the case, we need the highest court to provide guidance on this important question of liberty before another pandemic or emergency vaccine. Dana, wait for a lawyer for the four nurses who filed a lawsuit told in Jer Newsweek. That's right, you cr you cr you crystal wearing Karen bitches, get your fucking jab. Dumb, dumb fucking, you know, hippies. The decision on the, the Supreme Court on Tuesday comes as some Americans have continued to question the effectiveness of the COVID vaccine and past requirements for workers to be inoculated during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. In April of last year, four nurses, Kay Chesey, Jamine, Rumfeld, Brahagan, and Marie Benetti, you know that all of these white girls have, so, like, like, sell fucking Herbalife, sold fucking Herbalife in a past life. These are like these are like the whitest white women I've ever heard. And I don't even care if, if if one of them ain't. They just sound like suburbanized wasps. Arguing that the executive orders related to the COVID nineteen pandemic and vaccine booster requirements were unconstitutional. Get bent, <laughs> fucking wasps. But yeah, if you want to read this article for yourself in its entirety, um, you can check it out on my Discord. I post them in our general forum there in the high media Discord. We'd love to have you. It's a great time. Thank you so much. Uh, and that is this story. You, ladies and gentlemen, are watching I Can't Shut Up Unless You Tell Me To here on High Media TV. Slum national underground, thunder pounds, and I stop the ground. Like a million elephants, a silverback orangutan, you can't stop a train. Who wants up? Don't come unprepared. I'll be there, but when I leave there, better be a household name. Weather man telling us it ain't gonna rain. So now we sit in a drop top soaking wet. In a silk suit, try not to sweat. Hit some assaults without the net. But this be the year that we won't forget. One nine nine nine.
trace its own. Did you ever think of pimp rock a microphone like that? There, why? We still stay street. Big things happen every time we meet. Like a track team crashing down the geek. Outcasts bumping up and down the street. Slam back, can't let by five niggas. They 75 MCs reach down to the beat. Cause we get drunk, stay drunk at the club. Shit about an ounce, but you caught the glove. Shit have held back, but you throw the punch. Want to meet your girl, but you pack the lunch. No T to the U to the G for you. Got a son on the way, by the limb of that boo. Got a little baby girl for a year, Jordan. Never turn my back on my kids for them. Shit have hit it, 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 hit
asked by reporters what the suspect said to his lawyers, Janish said that information was proved, adding he may, anything he may have said to us, we can, we cannot disclose. All right, that's fair. Yeah, this guy looks like he watches Newsmax. Uh, the, the students were walking along the street Saturday night when they were confronted by a man with a handgun who opened fire and shot each of them without speaking before fleeing, according to the police department. The students were shot or identified as Hasham Awan Awatari, a student at Brown University in Rhode Island, Kanan Ab Al Muhammad. I'm butchering these names. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm the whitest fucking guy. I, I apologize. I try so hard, but so I, I struggle. A, stu a student at Hartford College in Pennsylvania and Tassin Al Ahmed, a student at Trinity College in Connecticut, according to the Institute for Middle East Understanding, which provided statements on behalf of the victims' families. Uh, two of the students were in stable condition over the weekend, but the third received much more serious injuries, not noting that two were shot in the torso and the another in the lower extremities. So, so, but to note, as of re as of time of recording and posting, they're alive. At least, at least the time of recording, not posting. Um, they're alive and they should be okay. So, um, it sucks. Like, like, I'm not surprised. Palestinian violence is growing. Um, ugh. Man. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, thank. Uh, if you want to watch this, uh, read this article yourself. There's a lot more I'm not going into just because for time constraint reasons. Um, if you want to uh, read this article yourself, please uh, check double check the uh, uh, my, my the general forum on the High Media Discord link in the description of what of, of of however you're listening to this, and um, it's a great community. We'd love to have you. Uh, and that is the story. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching I Can't Shut Up Unless You Tell Me To here on High Media TV.
here, so I be sublime. It's enjoyable to know you in the concubines. Niggas, take off your coats. Ladies, act like gems. Sit down. Indian styles, you recite these hymns. See, lyrically, I'm Mario Andretti on the Momo. Ludicrously speedy or infectious with the slow-mo. Heard me in the 80s, JV's on the promo. And I never end the quest to get the paper on the caper. But now, let me take it to the queen side. I'm taking it to Brooklyn side. All the residential questions who invade the air. Hold up a second, son, cause we almost there. You could be a black man and lose all your soul. You could be white and blue, but don't prep the road. See, my shit is universal if you got knowledge of Polo or Delta self. See, there's no one else who could drop it on the angle. Acute at that. So, who that, do that, do that, that, that. Come on. Who that, do that, do that, that, that. Yeah. Who that, do that, do that, that, that. that. I'm bugging out, but let me get back cause I'm wet and niggas. So, run and tell the others cause we are the brothers. I learned how to build mics in my workshop class. So, give me the sword and let's not make it the last.